Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for Coronation Street, Bobby Crawford frames Daniel for homicide. D.S. Swain questions Bobby Crawford in tonight's 8pm Coronation Street episode. See the complete listings in our TV guide. Bobby Crawford is called to the police to be questioned more, which makes him anxious. Roy won't consent to leave his cell at the prison and won't eat breakfast. Bobby is questioned by D.S. Swain, who is shaken, and warns him that tampering with the legal system is a severe crime that carries a jail sentence. Bobby later gets home and informs Carla that he told D.S. Swain, when he was under duress, that the person who broke into Lauren's apartment was wearing a dark coat with a fur-trimmed hood and a balaclava. Cassie, Evelyn, and Nina listen interestedly when Bobby says he's revised his account since he suddenly remembered witnessing a man rushing out of Lauren's apartment. Cassie tells Evelyn and Nina that she saw a coat in the charity shop that fit Bobby's description not too long after Lauren vanished. After leaving the charity shop, Evelyn and Cassie inform Nina that the coat is no longer there, but some other clothing was brought in with it, and one of the sweaters has a name tag. A development in the Lauren Bolton case prompts D.S. Swain to phone Daniel at the builder's yard apartment and ask him to accompany her. Bobby, has he unintentionally accused Daniel? Alia informs Yasmin that she has made the decision to accept Rich's job offer. Without Alia to help with organization, Adam and D.D. at the solicitor's struggle. Alia is taken to the bistro by Rich, who congratulates her on her excellent morning and assures her that she is precisely what Fabian needs and that she will succeed. Adam's largest client emails him to let him know that they are moving their job to Fabian's. When Alia steals their company, how will he respond? Kirk agrees to drive Dylan and Liam off at school and assists Sean and Dylan with moving their belongings out of number 11 after borrowing the Underworld van. Mary informs Eileen in the cafe that she visited Sean's new apartment and that it is in dire need of renovations and that they are severely short on furniture. As Sean packs up his belongings from number 11, Mary gives him a housewarming present in the form of a candle. Joel confides in D.D. that Emily has been in contact and that she would like him to meet his daughter Maeve while they are in the Rovers. Eliza tells Sam and Hope and Speed Doll how much she will miss them. Stu informs Yasmin that although he truly wants things to work out, it is ultimately up to her. Coronation Street Spoilers, Bobby Crawford Frames Daniel for Murder Introduction Coronation Street, the long-running British soap opera, is known for its gripping storylines and shocking twists. In recent episodes, viewers have been left on the edge of their seats as the character Bobby Crawford takes a dark turn, framing Daniel Osborne for a crime he didn't commit. This storyline has sparked intense speculation and discussion among fans eager to see how it will unfold. In this article, we delve into the details of this compelling plot twist and explore its potential ramifications for the characters involved. The Setup the storyline begins innocuously enough, with Bobby Crawford, a seemingly ordinary resident of Weatherfield, becoming increasingly embroiled in the lives of the show's main characters. Bobby is portrayed as charming and charismatic, endearing himself to those around him with his affable personality. However, beneath this facade lurks a darker side, one that is gradually revealed as the plot unfolds. Meanwhile, Daniel Osborne, a longtime fixture on the street, finds himself at a crossroads in his life. Struggling with personal demons and grappling with past traumas, Daniel's mental state becomes increasingly fragile. Bobby, sensing an opportunity, begins to manipulate Daniel, preying on his vulnerabilities and gradually drawing him into his web of deceit. The Crime As tensions escalate between Daniel and Bobby, the situation reaches a boiling point when a shocking crime occurs in Weatherfield. A beloved resident is found murdered under mysterious circumstances, sending shockwaves through the community. Suspicion immediately falls on Daniel, whose troubled past and erratic behavior make him an easy target for blame. Unbeknownst to Daniel, Bobby has been orchestrating events behind the scenes, carefully planting evidence to incriminate him in the murder. Using his charm and cunning, Bobby manages to manipulate witnesses and fabricate an airtight case against Daniel, leaving him with little hope of proving his innocence. The Fallout As Daniel's trial begins, tensions run high on the cobbles of Coronation Street. Friends and neighbors are torn between their loyalty to Daniel and their fear of the consequences if he is indeed guilty. 
Meanwhile, Bobby watches from the sidelines, reveling in his success as he tightens his grip on the unsuspecting residents of Weatherfield. As the trial unfolds, shocking revelations come to light, casting doubt on the validity of the evidence against Daniel. However, Bobby remains one step ahead, employing every trick in the book to ensure that his plan succeeds. With each twist and turn, viewers are left on the edge of their seats, eagerly awaiting the resolution of this gripping storyline. The Redemption Despite Bobby's best efforts, justice ultimately prevails as new evidence comes to light, exonerating Daniel and exposing Bobby's true colors. As the dust settles, the residents of Weatherfield come together to support Daniel in his time of need, reaffirming the strength of their community in the face of adversity. As for Bobby, his reign of terror comes to an abrupt end as he is arrested and held accountable for his crimes. With order restored to the street, the residents can finally breathe a sigh of relief, knowing that justice has been served. Conclusion the storyline of Bobby Crawford framing Daniel for murder is a prime example of Coronation Street's ability to captivate audiences with its compelling drama and complex characters. Through twists and turns, the show explores themes of deception, manipulation, and redemption, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats until the very end. As fans eagerly await the next chapter in this gripping saga, one thing is certain, on the cobbles of Weatherfield, anything can happen. The Coronation Street episode airing at 8 p.m. tonight features D.D. failing to free Roy Cropper from prison. See the complete listings in our TV guide. Roy Cropper asks D.D. for a piece of paper and an envelope as they take their seats in the police interview room, and he starts to write. The CPS attorney describes Roy in court as a violent pastime murderer, including assaults on Gary and Wayne's kidnapping among his misdeeds. D.D. rushes over and gives Nina a note from Roy while Evelyn, Carla, and Nina wait for Roy's bond hearing. They fight back tears as they realize Roy is certain he will go to prison. Evelyn returns to the cafe to see how Freddie is doing because she can't handle the hearing. As this is going on, D.D. presents her case to the judge, pleading with him to grant Roy bail. However, the judge rejects her request and directs that Roy be detained until his trial. Gary looks at Maria's phone and wishes he could take the video off. Sarah apologizes to Gary on the street for his inebriated advances, and she is shocked to learn that Maria is hiding a camera. Adam meets at the Chariot Square Hotel with a new customer, Rebecca. Adam flirts with Rebecca after ordering a bottle of wine, and their chemistry is immediately apparent. Adam hangs up on Alia when she phones to let him know that he needs to be in the office for a meeting, which aggravates her. In lieu of Adam, Alia attends the meeting with Rich from Fabian's, and he is pleased by her knowledge and thinks she would make a good partner. Subsequently, Adam and Rebecca walk back to the street, and following their kiss, he offers her to come to the office. Adam and Rebecca are mid-snog when the door unexpectedly bursts open as Alia is wrapping up her meeting with Rich. When Eliza points out that the Z is flipped, Stu shows her his recently inked arm bearing her name, to the amusement of Hope and Yasmin. When Leanne informs Simon that he needs to conduct more research on his business before she's ready to spend any money, Simon fears that she is pulling out. Sarah meets Gary when he is showing a valuer around the facility. She is concerned about the camera video, but Gary reassures her that he will remove it. Will he be able to finish it in time, though?